and happy vlogmas everybody i'm sorry i did intend to do a video every week doing a little bit of vlogmas over december but i'm a little bit late to put my first video up i may have time for a second one we shall see um but i thought i'd show you our christmas decorations and some of the things that i've been making since i last podcasted and also we have a new little baby to show you as well so over the last few weeks I've been knitting on a pair of socks and this is knitted from some Patterns Craw yarn that I picked up from America when we went there on our holiday. I think it might have been our, our honeymoon in Florida and it's some Pat Patterns Croy self-striping yarn. And what I did is that I cast on a sock tube and I actually cast this on especially to knit at the hospital while I was having my contractions but I didn't knit very much because I my contractors were so close together so i've pretty much done these at home so what basically i've done a 60 stitch sock on 2.5 millimeter needles and then i've knitted till there was about 25 grams left in the 50 gram ball that i purchased and then i pulled the yarn off until I got to the point where it was matching the beginning of the cast on of the other sock that I'd knitted and, and I just balled the, the yarn off um, I've got about that much um, that's attached to this one and if I can I'll knit as much of this as I can but I want them to match so I want to see how much I can get on the rest of the ball so I've got this much left and there's about 25 grams left and once I've done that I will knit the toes in a contrast yarn so that they match and then I'm going to do an afterthought heel um, I'll cut into the tube and put the afterthought heel in and I'll probably use like a red or a blue for a contrast there but I love this yarn I did actually buy two skeins of this yarn and I knitted a pair for Adam's dad Dave um, and he must have had those a couple of years ago so I thought it was about time that I knitted I knitted the other ball up and these are going to be for Adam so that's the first thing I've been working on I have actually finished my triangulum blanket that's the pattern that I released on the 1st of December and it was the pattern that went with all the advent calendars that I sold this year um, so I will show you how I block that in a minute but I've also got another project that Adam's mum has been knitting for me and it is a beautiful cowl well it's going to be a cowl it's going to be joined up at the ends but look at that beautiful cable isn't that gorgeous so this is going to be a tube so I've got to join those two ends and it will be a lovely thick cowl so this is my own hand dyed yarn in the because the night colorway on a DK base of yarn um, but the pattern is actually written for a sport weight yarn and it's called the travelers cowl I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see better um, in a color photograph what the finished one looks like but it's supposed to be in a sport weight yarn and I figured that I'd got enough um, of the DK weight to do the same because I think sport weight is sort of between four ply and DK I thought I can get away with it with a cowl but I'm loving how the cables looked Liz has made a lovely job of knitting that so I've got to finish um, sewing the back together so that's the inside of the cowl I've got to sew these two edges together here and here so I'll sew those together just along that edge and sew the ends in and that'll be finished. And I'll hopefully be able to show you that on the podcast in the early next year. I don't plan necessarily to do a podcast uh, before Christmas, but who knows? I might feel I've got the energy to do it. <laughs> we shall see. So the shop is still open. You can purchase things that are all ready to ship, although my hand-dyed yarn will be on hold until January as well as my project bags. But I will be releasing pre-orders for the yarn clubs on December the 26th. That's Boxing Day this year. So the theme for the mini sets for this year is going to be the same as last year, the mixed tape minis. So I'm going to keep that theme the same. So there'll be five colourways um, in, a mi in a mini set and they'll all be named after different songs. So it'll as a mixtape i'm also going to be doing a sock set and i'm really excited to be changing the theme this year and it's going to be power ballads so there'll be power ballads one for each month for a sock set and both of the yarn clubs will be available on all the bases that i offered last year so i'll pop a link in the description bar down below to the details of the yarn clubs but the proper listings won't be up until the 26th of december so i better get on with blocking my blanket and then i'll introduce you to my new little boy so i've given 
my blanket a bit of a soak and I'm gonna spread it out over the blocking mats and use my um, Knit Pro blockers and use my Knit Pro blockers to, um, to pin it all out and block it out nicely. I did spend quite a long time knitting the I-cord bind off all around here and there are instructions in the pattern um, for the triangular blanket to do this but I've also got a couple of videos as well and I'll link those in the description bar down below um, but hopefully I'll be able to show you this on the next podcast all finished and nice and dry and blocked. So there we are, all blocked out. I've done the square version or more square version of the blanket here and it's finished off with the I-cord bind off. You can of course sort of follow the hexagon orientation where you just keep adding the triangles and keep it in like a hexagonal shape. Um, but I've got one on the needles that I'm working on as well so I can show you the different layouts. But there we go, that's the triangulum blanket blocking. And I've used three boxes of the Knit Pro um, blockers that I like. And I'll leave a link to these in the description bar down below. Hello Jensen, how are you doing? He's got his little My First Christmas onesie on. <laughs> I think he's wanting some food. We better get him something to eat before he gets a little bit grumpy. <laughs> Hello. Oh dear. We've been using his little Moses basket that I did the cover for again. And that's been working well. Right, I better go. Otherwise he's going to get grumpy. He needs something to eat. So because we have a new little baby, we're not going out very much or doing many Christmassy things. So I'm not going to do a proper Vlogmas this year, but I thought I'd show you our Christmas decorations. We have finally put them up. Normally we put them up before the 1st of December, but this year we've literally just done them this weekend. <laughs> And also, I didn't buy any Yarny Advents because I knew that I wouldn't have a chance to sort of open them up. Adam has a Lego Advent, but he hasn't opened any of the days yet. And today is the 11th of December, so he needs to get open in those doors. But I'll show you our Christmas decorations that we've managed to put up. So here's the Christmas tree. We have a fairy on the top, which I made last year. I'll pop a link to the Vlogmas video where I showed which book I got the pattern from for this fairy. Um, but we have quite a few other sort of handmade ornaments on the tree and we now have a little ornament that says Jensen on it for our little boy and um, we of course have the Hogwarts Express around the bottom of our tree <laughs> and hiding here is a larger version of the angel which I made a couple of years ago thinking that she would go on the top of the tree and she looked huge and ridiculous so I then decided to make a smaller version and we have a few bits and pieces on the fireplace and last year I made these stockings for Adam and I and I'm gonna have to make one for Jensen now so I'll pop a link to the video where I made these stockings on last year's vlogmas if you want to have a look at those um, and hopefully with any luck I might have a chance this weekend to make one for Jensen as well so there we go So this is our little Jensen and this is Daddy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's a bit sleepy and milk drunk at the moment so he's got his little eyes shut and we've been using reusable nappies so they look massive. <laughs> yeah. Adam you haven't opened your advent calendars. I know. 
I'll have to give that a go later. He's more important though, isn't he? Isn't he gorgeous? He looks really grumpy today, look. He has had lots of milk though. So thank you so much for tuning into this year's mini vlogmas and I want to wish you all a very merry festive season and happy new year. Bye!